Yes, you are right. This is about cervical cancer vaccine in India. Ever since Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh has unveiled the first homegrown cervical cancer vaccine in India, all the headlines in newspaper are busy with this topic. This is indeed a golden moment in medical science in India. A novel vaccine now will prevent a deadly cancer. In this channel, I regularly discuss about women's health issues whenever I get time after coming back home from hospital work. We'll discuss a lot of questions that is coming in your mind. Who should get this vaccine and when? Is this vaccine only for girls or boys should get something like that? The vaccine works against human papillomavirus or HPV. But what is HPV? We are going to go through all these details. How much the vaccines cost? Where can you get them? And what do you need to get the vaccines done? And how the vaccine prevents cancer like cervical cancer. So let's dive into the topics. Just a few days back, Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh announced the first cervical cancer vaccine which has been grown on Indian soil. Mr. Adap Punawala, who is the CEO of Serum Institute of India, was also present in this function. Serum Institute of India made this cervical cancer vaccine on Indian soil with the collaboration of DBT, BIRAC and funding from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation of America. One of my cervical cancer patients mentioned that this is a celebration which probably is more than combined celebration of Eid, Diwali, Durga Puja and Christmas. I can understand why she said that. Cervical cancer is preventable, yet in India, every hour, eight women are dying from cervical cancer, whereas in various developed nations, cervical cancer has almost become eradicated. The awareness on cervical cancer in India is shockingly low, even though it is the second most prevalent cancer in India. If you want more numbers, here are some. Every year, about 1,25,000 women get diagnosed of cervical cancer and 75,000 women dies every year in India only. The solution now is so close and it is close to your hand and it is most affordable now. So is this the first cervical cancer vaccine in the world? The concept of cervical cancer vaccine is not new at all. We have got quite a few cervical cancer vaccines already used in various parts of the world, maybe not widely used in India. But why this vaccine works against the cancer? Cancers generally are not caused by virus. But there is an exception and the cervical cancer is mostly caused by a virus which is known as HPV or human papillomavirus. We will know about this HPV in detail in few minutes time. But this discovery of link between cervical cancer and HPV is so astonishing and it changed the world so much that the Scientist who discovered it, Harald Zarhausen, who is a German professor, received Nobel Prize in 2008. This vaccine that we are talking today works against the HPV virus, which again works against cervical cancer formation. The cervical cancer vaccine was first developed in University of Queensland in Australia. After years and years of long and hard work and researches, finally US FDA gave permission of this vaccine to be used for citizens of America in 2006. The year after, in 2007, the pharmaceutical company Mark announced that the vaccine has been approved in more than 80 countries in the world. Eventually, the vaccine is now commonly in use in Australia, New Zealand, America, England and various Western European countries. Since 2008, millions of school-growing girl children have received this vaccination in England and nowadays in various countries this vaccine is part of the routine vaccination program just like tetanus and diphtheria vaccine that you would give to your child. In India the vaccine has been made available by various private companies but it has not been part of India government's immunization program. This means the, the vaccine has not been so far available in national immunization or vaccination program but if you have got wishes and have got some money then you can go and buy one via your doctor and get this vaccine and prevent cervical cancer already. But hopefully with this homegrown vaccine the cost will be significantly less and then the vaccine will be more suitable to be used in general population. However, there is no doubt that the vaccination works fantastically and crores of girl children all over the world and women have received this vaccination against cervical cancer very successfully and recently Karolinska University of Sweden published the astonishing data that this vaccination is reducing 
the deaths from cervical cancer in the most spectacular way. So what is HPV? HPV is a short form of human papilloma virus and there are more than 170 varieties of human papilloma virus have been discovered so far via medical researches and only some of them causes problematic diseases and within that only few will cause cancer like cervical cancer and cancer in the potty passage or some throat cancers. The selected few strains of HPV which cause cancer is known as high risk HPV. Of them 16 and 18 causes 70% of cervical cancers. Now how do we get them? The plain and simple answer is it is sexually transmitted. But worry not, it's not like syphilis or gonorrhea. How do we get the HPV virus infection? It's all over in our skin and some researchers suggest every three out of four men and women will have HPV at certain parts of their life. HPV infection is in Indeed, very common. Women usually get the HPV when they involve in sexual activity. Fortunately, our body fights off with the HPV virus within two years of first infection. In some cases where the immunity of the body can be low or various unknown reasons, this HPV virus stays on the cervix which is a part of the uterus and it stays and eventually cause cancers over 5 to 15 years. Now the crucial thing is that HPV infections are generally asymptomatic so there is no symptoms if someone gets HPV. Unfortunately women first get to know that they have got HPV or cervical cancer when there are problems of bleeding or discharges or something like that. But unfortunately, by this time, cancer has spread to the adjacent blood vessels and in many cases, painfully, it has crossed the point of getting cured. So far, we have been using pap smear, which is a health check on the cervix to check the precancer states of cervical cancer. If you want to know about the pap smear, we have got the video. We'll keep a link there somewhere and in the description Feel free to have a look and pap smear is still an important weapon against cervical cancer. Now who should get HPV vaccine? Now in every country their government and their available scientists decide based on their available funds who should get the vaccine at what age. The reality is the vaccine works best when it is taken few years before the first intercourse. How many types of vaccines are there? In India we have got already two proven vaccines in the market, Cervarix and Gardasil. And Gardasil 9 is a new vaccine which is coming, but now India's homegrown vaccine, Servafac, has come into place. Because the cost and dosage changes, therefore we have put all such information in the description down below, so feel free to have a look. Generally, if the vaccines are given below 13th or 15th birthday, then only two dosage are required. However, if it is given beyond that age, three dosage are recommended. However, there are some countries and there are some researches which are suggesting that even one vaccine will be very important. This one vaccine dose schedule has not come into the place or at least we are not following that. But in countries who are struggling with their funding, then the one vaccination schedule may be of use in future. But as of now, it's either two dosage or three doses based on available practice in India. The main differences between various vaccines are the how they are invented, how many researches are done based on that, and how many viruses they protect us against. Servafac and Gardasil protects against four types of high-risk HPV. Servarix protects against two major types of HPV which causes most cervical cancers. There is a new variety of Gardasil 9 which is quite costly till now will protect against nine different types of HPV strain and which will give more protection against HPV. Does this vaccine guarantee that no one will get cervical cancer? Of course in medical science nothing is 100% but these vaccines works against 99% of high risk HPV virus. Gardasil and Cervarix which are already quite in market for quite a long time have got a very proven track record against preventing cervical cancers. At the time of preparing this video, I didn't have any access to any researches or publication which says the Servafac, which is the homegrown Indian virus and how effective is that. But my guess is that it will be quite good and quite effective against cervical cancers. Are there any side effects of taking these vaccines? In life, everything with the Benefits have got some side effects and vaccines are not an exception to that. But most of the side effects are just 
localized pain and tenderness at the area of injections redness and some women or girl will have a little bit of fever after taking the vaccine but most are quite well tolerated if you want to know more about the side effects of hpv vaccines please do ask your doctor where you are getting this vaccine and there are leaflets available where you can have more understanding of that whenever we talk about vaccines everyone asks the same question so you talked about pap smear all over the years and now if the pap smear is obsolete of course pap smear is not obsolete we have to understand this vaccine is for new generation girls and some women may choose to have that but still there will be crores of women who still did not have this vaccination or did not know about this vaccination did not have the access to this vaccination in those women they still pap smear will be very valuable and even in girls who are having this vaccination the present recommendation the international recommendation is that yes do pap smear every 3 to 5 years depending on your country schedule it is still there in use and still not be forgotten even if the vaccination is in use this is because if the pre cancer or cancer development has already started this vaccination will not prevent that and we will have to find out with the cervical cancer or we will have to wait for the symptoms to arrive after few many years which is not ideal at all now another valuable question what happens to the boys of course the answer is boys do not have cervix today so it is mainly for girls however hpv causes cancer in boys as well that mean in men as well and there are a lot of hpv strains which causes cancer in potty passage that means anal canal and outside that and causes warts but boys and men can have hpv related cancers of course that will not be in the cervix but will be in the anal canal or sometimes in the throat and women they can develop hpv related cancers in the throat as well so these vaccines which we have talked about on cervical cancer will not only prevent some cervical cancer or women's cancer but also will prevent some of the men's cancer and of course the costlier variety of gardasil 9 which will prevent nine varieties of hpv infection and lot more effective against not only against cervical cancer but against various other cancers so i believe when gardasil 9's cost will come down the gardasil 9 will be a standard of care in future but it is so costly now one vaccine costs about 10000 it is still not used in very many parts of india except in very wealthy nations in india we have got servavac which protects us against four different types of hpv and it should be very cheap and very affordable for our population we'll see you soon over another topic sometime soon but if you have got any questions or comments feel free to write down below and we'll be happy to answer that have a good day